Hey, it's me, your boy Blue Gensiga, and I'll be going over the new Konomly cards from Dawn of Majesty. And I'm just gonna hop right into this. First, we have Konomly Palace Tri Trilithon, and it's a continuous spell card. If you control no monsters, or if all monsters you control are Konomly monsters, you can pay 500 life points to normal summon one Konomly monster from your hand. Which is pretty nice since you can normal summon your Nebra Disc and get a search. And you can actually do it twice since, you know, it doesn't specify that you have to normal summon a monster with a different name. And I think Nebra Disc's first effect isn't a hard ones per turn. Actually, I think it is a hard ones per turn because it only allows you to use one of its effects. So I'm guessing you can't really get the normal summon twice. Which kind of sucks. At least that's what I think, that's how I think it works. Anyway, second effect, if your Konomly exceeds monster or num number exceeds monster, you would activate its effect by detaching material. You can send this card to the graveyard instead of one of those materials. Which is pretty cool because it actually allows you to get more use out of your Konomly exceeds monsters. Next we have Konomly Meg Megala Globe. Magella Globe and it's a level 4 light machine effect monster with 1500 attack and 300 defense. You can tribute this card special summon one Chronomaly monster from your deck except Chronomaly Mega Globe. So basically its first effect allows it to become a lone fire blossom but just not as good. Especially in this deck. I'm not sure how great a lone fire blossom truly is but it's still a good effect even in this deck. Second effect, if this card is in your graveyard except the turn I was sent there, you can banish one Chronomaly card from your graveyard except Chronomaly Mega Globe, Magella Globe, and then add this card to your hand. So that's a pretty meh effect, but I guess you can get back your Lone Fire, so that's a thing. Next we have Chronomaly Acambro Ac Figure. And it's a level 5 earth rock effect monster with 1000 attack and 1800 defense. If a Chronomaly monster you control will be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can discard this card instead, and that kind of sucks that this is a hard one's return, but whatever. Second effect, if this card is in your graveyard, you can pay 1000 life points, special summon this card, but return it to the hand during the end phase. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this effect except Chronomaly monsters. And the nice thing about this card is it doesn't banish itself when it leaves the field and it returns itself to the hand during the end phase. Granted you're most likely going to be using this to summon a rank 5 but assuming you don't need to exceed something you could just have this card return back to your hand so you can use the first effect which is pretty nice. Next we have Chronomaly Vimana, and it's a light machine exceeds effect rank 5 monster with um, 2300 attack and 2600 defense. And it requires two level 5 monsters, so it's generic. Once per turn, quick effect, you can target one face up monster on the field and one Chronomaly monster or exceeds monster in your graveyard. The first target gains attack equal to half the second target's attack until the end of this turn then attach the second target to this card as material which is pretty nice it gains attack and it also it also gets back material second effect once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect quick effect you can attach two material from this card and negate the activation it doesn't destroy but it's still very good also, also, when I did uh, my Yu-Gi-Oh! Tear Analysis on Chronomaly, this card basically would have been the perfect answer for a lot of its cons, since it also negates, so if you don't OTK your opponent, this, card, this deck wouldn't really be much of a glass cannon at that point. Next and lastly, we have Chronomaly Esperanza Glyph, which is a normal trap. During the main phase, you can target one Xyz monster card you control or in your graveyard, which is pretty nice. Special summon two Chronomaly monsters from your hand, deck, or graveyard that are one level higher than the monster's monster card's rank. 
but their effects are negated and if you do immediately after this card resolves after this effect resolves exceed summon one chronomaly exceeds monster using those two targets which is pretty nice since you could go into your I mean pretty much almost all of them except your rank 3 and I guess rank 6 I mean you can run level 6 chronomalies but I advise you don't so this is a pretty neat effect and that's about it that's about it for chronomalies Tell me what you guys think about them, and it's been me, your boy Blue Getsugaya, finally back, and I'm out.